We all know that a horse can feel a fly land on its skin and be quite irritated by it. So why is it sometimes that they're so sensitive but sometimes so dull to our touch? Touch is basically the message to the brain from the sensory receptors and nerves in the skin. There are different types of receptors, so which type of receptor receives the information will determine which message gets transmitted to the brain. Some of these nerves have free endings and some are encapsulated and they can be encapsulated in different types of membranes. And what they're encapsulated in can determine what triggers a response from that nerve. Some are sensitive to a light pressure and low frequency and others are sensitive to rapid vibrations. There are different receptors for rapid pressure or shaking, others for stretching or intense and prolonged pressure. Nerves without the receptors are there to help respond to pain. And there are also receptors that are specific for temperature. So you can see this whole business of the sense of touch is really quite a complex business. Horses have some very sensitive areas um, around their eyes, muzzle, wither, flanks and elbows can be quite sensitive to touch. I'm of course generalizing here because like us, horses can be quite individual in where they do and don't like being touched. Their sensitivity also varies according to the thickness of their coat, the thickness of their skin, or how dense receptors are around a particular area. Whiskers can be found around the horse's muzzle and eyes, and the whiskers are associated with a very dense nerve supply, so they really are quite sensitive. These help a horse work out how far away from an object they are and they may also be able to sense vibrational energy from sound. You'll also see a lot of time a horse's test electric fences with their whiskers first as well. The upper part of a horse's lip contains three different um, sensory nerves and they're quite particularly sensitive to touch, pressure and pain. Given that we utilize this intense sensitivity when we try to control horses using a twitch, it's not so surprising that some horses go completely dull and quiet while others just intensify their reaction. The inner cheek lining is actually as sensitive as the skin. Given we use this to control horses, we need to be really quite respectful of this when we're using our reins to not be so heavy handed and harsh. Horses are herd animals and they're quite sensitive to the presence of other horses and they use the skin sensitivity at their sides to detect the presence of other horses. We also use this sensitivity with our legs in our riding. Mutual grooming is another way that a horse uses touch in the herd situation. Um, we found that horses reduce their heart rate when they are scratched at the wither. So obviously it's not just a grooming response. It also gives the horse a relaxation response. When nerve endings are stimulated several times in quick succession, they can become worn out or dull. You can see us use this again to our advantage with people who do the three thumps on the neck before giving the horse an injection. You can see that we've become quite refined at using the horse's sensitivities for us to be able to control them. So then how do we use their sense of touch in a way that actually is good for them? In general, horses have the most preferred area to be scratched and it is the wither. They still like the wider wither areas scratched, but not as much as very close to the wither and the shoulder, not so much. So can we use this as a reward? The horse will always find a scratch around the wither, a, a nice feeling and a bit of positive reinforcement. But when they've done studies in using that as a positive reinforcement for training purposes, the horses respond and learn a new response much quicker using food than they did using scratching as a positive reinforcement. It appears that horses can improve their attachment to each other through mutual grooming or scratching at the withers. But the most key element for the human horse bond is food. And most importantly now, the take home messages from this. Much like the ears, please don't shave off your horse's whiskers. They're really quite important to them. Um, they have such a rich nerve supply and they use them to gain a lot of information. Those sensitive areas that we use for our control, understand that we're using them because they're sensitive and treat them with the utmost respect. In the areas you want the horse to respond, try really hard not to dull down those sensory receptors like in the sides with your legs. You want to make friends with your horse? 
Sure, give them a scratch at the wither, they'll like that, but more importantly, they want the treat. I hope this gave you a little bit more insight into how your horse is perceiving the world through touch. And stay tuned for next week where we wrap up the senses and look at overall perception and memory. If you'd like to find more handy horse health information, make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any of my video releases. Hop on over to my Facebook page, Kazadarns Equestrian, or check out my website, www.kazadarnsequestrian.com, um, and have a look at my blog and some of my free downloads.